So Bill 21 is a law in Quebec that discriminates against civil servants who wear religious attire. So that includes a kippah, that includes a turban, hijab, or even a necklace with a cross. Um, and just recently, we saw a teacher removed from her teaching position. She was teaching a grade three class, and she was removed from her class and put into a different position just because she wears a hijab. I mean, this is, why should people care? This is a bill that's in Quebec. It's not here. So why should should we care about this bill? Yeah, that's actually a really great question. I just want to reiterate that this is a human rights issue. The fact that anybody is being discriminated against on what they wear and on who they pray to, like it just does not make any sense. And it actually goes against the Canadian uh, rights and freedoms, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Um, and we should care because just six months ago, we saw three, two women and a girl walking in the street who were visibly, visibly Muslim and they were murdered. We should care about that. This is a, I believe that Bill 21 targets Muslim women disproportionately because of what we wear. And we're seeing that the Muslim community is being killed. Um, so this is a huge concern and we would like everyone to take this seriously and speak up. So let's talk about this then. Uh, you do have a petition. What is this petition about and how how do people get to it and sign up? Yeah, so we have a petition which we just launched five days ago on our website at www.muslimadvisory.ca and it's directed to the Minister of Public Safety and the Minister of Women and Gender Equality and Youth along with our five Halton MPs. Um, and we're stating that Bill 21 is gendered Islamophobia and a public safety concern. Um, and we urge the ministers to take action on ensuring a holistic government response is coordinated to protect the rights and freedoms of individuals observing religious attire in Quebec by denouncing Bill 21, um, introducing anti-hate legislation in Canada, and urging the prime minister to intervene in the court proceedings of Bill 21. So let's round out our conversation then on talking a little bit further to that. It is being fought out in provincial court, um, but there is room for the federal government to intervene. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so Section 33 of the Charter, known as the Notwithstanding Clause or the Override, allows Parliament of Canada or provincial legislature to declare that a law will have its effect, despite or notwithstanding one or more Charter guarantees. So for Bill 21, the religious freedom right is a charter guarantee impacted for certain marginalized groups that I've already previously mentioned. Um, so right now, this uh, bill is being fought in the provincial court by civil liberties groups. Um, however, once it reaches the Supreme Court, which we expect it to, um, that is when the federal government can step in um, and intervene. But while it's at the provincial court, it's really up to constituents of Quebec to speak out, petition their MPs and MPPs, their MLAs, and rally. There needs to be a lot of attention on this for it to get movement. I've seen in the news that the Premier of Quebec states that, oh, the majority of Quebecers support this law. However, since that teacher was fired, we are seeing that many people are speaking out. They're petitioning and they're taking action. So I want to see if this majority that the premier is speaking about is actually true. And, you know, I, I, again, just your last thoughts. What, what are you hoping that um, that we continue to do as uh, Canadians? What are you hoping for this? Yeah, so I'm really looking specifically in Halton region to have all levels of government speak up because this is going to require all levels of government in every province to say no. We don't accept this. This is against the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And we need to be there for our communities impacted by this because this is not only affecting Quebec, uh, Muslims in Quebec, it's having a profound impact on local communities as well.